Hey guys, how y'all doing tonight? Uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, or if you're watching, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Let's try to get the subscribers up and uh, like, comment, share. Uh, let's try to get it out there a little more. But uh, as you can see, I'm in a hotel room. Nothing's wrong. We uh, dropped that Jeep off that you've seen in the last video that I had picked up. We left the house at like 4 a.m to get up to Indiana to drop that off. And then we had to get over to the uh, Funtown PDI and get those uh, get these two campers that you'll see in the next video picked up by four o'clock or 4.30. So we had to leave kind of early. And by the time we got them picked up, we only had like an hour of drive time left and it wasn't where I wasn't gonna get anywhere. And I really needed to do some uh, of my monthly expenditures and, and what I've gotten paid and what I've spent updating the computer and it's over here and I've got a sheet here that I'm going to be talking about. So I, I, I want to just get a room, do that tonight, take a hot shower, get an early start, you know, good night's rest and get an early start in the morning. So I'm going to be looking at this paper here and what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about our first six months this year in Holland Toe. Uh, and, it, and it's been up and down because of the market. So I don't, I don't feel these are a true normal years numbers i think they would be higher if we didn't have the parts shortage so keep that in mind but going over the numbers i'm still still happy with it uh you know it could be better and i'll explain why so this is through the end of june so this is through june the 30th so through june the 30th we have worked 97 days on the road we've been on the road 97 days and out of those 97 days only 68 of them have been spent overnight because as y'all can tell from my videos i do a lot of going to indiana spend the night then i come home and then there'll be days where i'll like just go to atlanta deliver and then i'm back home so there have been weeks where i've done a complete trip and only spent one night out so this is 97 days and out 68 nights and we've ran 51,818 total miles in in the first six months and that does include sometimes we didn't pick up loads we we, we did head empty and of course that hurts your uh, hurts your bottom line when you do that but we've done it for certain reasons you know like recently we had to uh, couldn't find a load to drop on a Sunday because we had to pick up in Indiana on Sunday and be in Pennsylvania on Monday so that cost us some time money and empty miles Okay, so in those six months, uh, in January we done ninety four hundred fifty seven dollars and fifty two cents. February we done ninety nine hundred sixty five dollars and forty three cents. March we done ninety four hundred forty eight dollars and ninety two cents. April we done thirteen thousand four hundred eighty five dollars and fourteen cents. May we done just sixty eight hundred and twenty eight dollars and ten cents, and that's because it was my wife's birthday anniversary, our anniversary. Mother's Day, all that wrapped in there, so I didn't work a lot. And then in June, we done thirteen thousand eight hundred seventeen dollars and seventy eight cents. So we had a couple thirteen thousand dollars and a, a three months right there. We were hovering around ten thousand for a total this year through June of sixty three thousand two dollars and eighty nine cents. Not bad, but like I said, I feel if it wasn't for the part shortages and having to take some shorter loads, and of course I've had a lot going on this year that would be higher so now let's get into our expenses these expenses are fuel maintenance you know routine maintenance does include the big breakdown in new york tolls uh, insurance and if we stayed in any hotels it's all in an expense wrapped into one January they were twenty seven eighty four oh four. February thirty sixty eighty six. March when we had the big breakdown it was eleven thousand two hundred thirty seven dollars and forty cents. Uh, April thirty seven thirty seven forty one. May twenty two oh six twenty nine, and June thirty eight twenty forty five. So, for a total including the big breakdown of twenty six thousand eight hundred forty six dollars and forty five cents. So if you take out that $8,500 breakdown between my mass airflow sensor and then in New York when we had to do 
the uh, turbo, power steering pump, and brake booster, our expenses would be $18,346.45. So the way that breaks down is on normal maintenance and fuel, including my insurance, figuring in any, you know, some tolls and things here and there, it's costing me roughly 35 cents per mile to operate my truck, which is not bad. Not bad when I'm doing outbound for 250 a mile. You know, I'd like to hover around at least a dollar on reloads. It doesn't always work that way, but you know, by doing my numbers, I have figured them a few times on the reloads. It pays for my fuel for the month, and then usually has a small bit of money left over. Uh, I haven't redone it since fuel has went up some, but usually you can figure that your your reloads of one car pays for your fuel round trip. So if I bring a car up and then I bring a car home, it covers the fuel round trip. That's a good way to look at it. So, but if you add that $8,500 breakdown in, and, and I'm doing it two ways because you're not always gonna have an $8,500 breakdown, you know, but it does happen. So with these numbers on the $63,002.89, if you figure in the $8,500 breakdown, it was $26,846.45 on the uh, expenses. That bumps it up to 51 cents per mile to operate my truck. So, you know, it, it, it increased my operation cost quite a bit, you know, so, and, and the second half i'm going to have some more maintenance stuff where we was changing the water pumps and all that but it's going to be nowhere near that amount unless something else happens and we got our fingers crossed nothing happens so with all that being said you know 35 cents roughly on normal operating cost to run my vehicle so that's a pretty good pretty good breakdown of that and like i said you know Oh yeah, I done one over here too. After all expenses and everything, with outbounds, reloads, after paying my fuel, my insurance, my maintenance, everything, I'm averaging almost 90 cents per mile profit. That's after everything's paid. Uh, I'd like to get those numbers up. You know, a lot of that has to do with the backhauls. You know, like I'm going to Texas right now, coming out of Texas, backhauls are cheap. Well, not technically backhauls, but cars. Just say cars. Cars are cheap. Coming out of Florida, cars are cheap. If you run the Northeast a lot, your your car reload your car reloads are going to be higher, but so are your expenses. More fuel is more expensive and all that. So it's kind of like a double edged sword. Where you want to, where are you going to make your most money? So, but, you know, I'd like to be up over a dollar a mile profit would be ideal. So, you know, every mile you're going, you know, you're making a dollar profit after everything's paid, going there and back, which is good because I'd like to, you know, I kept up with my numbers when I were doing single pull and I was nowhere near 90 to a dollar, 90 cents to a dollar profit because you run so many empty miles you know i was thinking mine was like 30 something cents if i remember correct yes there's still good money because you're getting better fuel mileage coming back when it's empty and all that but you know finding me a trucking company out here it's paying somebody to drive their truck almost a dollar a mile it's not gonna happen and you know like i said that's after all expenses so not bad not bad at all i'm happy with it uh, I do feel things are picking up. You know, I was at the uh, Funtown PDI day and they got quite a few trailers in there, so that's a good sign. And hopefully, we can finish this second half of the year strong, make some good money, and pray for a good 2022. So, but I just wanted to jump on here. And like I said, I've done this work tonight, getting these numbers done up. So, I thought I'd jump on here and make a quick video for you guys. Uh, it's Monday. You probably won't see this video until Wednesday. But, uh, you know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about my numbers. 
if you think if you think they're good you know 90 cents a mile profit if you think that's good let me know if you don't think it's good let me know uh, you know I'd be interested in some of the the hotshot guys analyzing some of their videos and seeing what they're making but you know of course you'd have to know their expenses and all that so I did hotshot I didn't I didn't profit 90 cents a mile after paying my lease on fees insurance didn't get discounted fuel and you know spent a lot more time on the road so you know i'm real happy with the numbers i'm happy with my situation i'm happy with what's going on and so that's where we're at oh i th think one thing i did forget was my total profit overall after expenses without the breakdown it's forty four thousand six hundred fifty six dollars and forty four cents for the year once you factor in that breakdown i'm at thirty six thousand one hundred fifty six dollars and forty four cents for the first six months that's after all expenses so with even with the breakdown i'm averaging over six thousand dollars a month profit so you know that's what seventeen hundred dollars roughly fifteen hundred dollars fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars a week so you know that's not bad I, I can handle that and it's, it's even more than that if you take out that big breakdown so like i said like share subscribe drop a comment down below hit that notification bell so you keep up with when we put out new content uh any ideas on videos you want to see or topics you want me to talk about leave me a comment down below uh Follow me on Instagram, Hustle Hall Toe. You're a little more up to date on where I'm at daily that way. And uh, catch you guys in the next one.